Hey guys, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's holding up pretty well. I, I'm doing okay, I'm just crafting away. I've got more journals done and I'm working on the, um, the little bunny and Peter Rabbit, home for a bunny, Peter Rabbit, duck and his friends and rabbit and his friends. And I had another Peter Rabbit book. I was gonna show you all that, hang on a second. Get that out. So I had this other Peter Rabbit book, which was a large book. And I hope you can see this. I hope I'm in frame because I tried to get close to show you what I'm doing. But um, I decided I wasn't going to make a. <clears throat> I'm out of breath, y'all. I've been working away. I probably should have taken a breath before I turned the camera on. But anyway, so I pulled the pages out of that book and I wanted to make some envelopes. So what I did was I just took some music pages and cut them down to the size I wanted. I just tore the images that I wanted out of the book. And fortunately the way they were, a lot of them were the top image was on one side and the other image was on the bottom. So I got a lot of images out of there. And anyway, I just stitched around some tea dyed paper and folded it up, stitched around the image, glued it on, glued some fabric on, stitched it, then glued it on, and put some of those little felt buttons in. They're really cute, simple envelopes. So I thought I would show you guys. Now I haven't um, put the fabric and the buttons on these, but I've done all the stitching. And I've glued the images on here so you can see you just have a music sheet like this, okay? And just simply fold it up and fold it over. Leave yourself some space here. Um, and then cut it to whatever size you want. Now I cut these down because I wanted the whole, I didn't want the space on these. I wanted all the music image. Did not care whether it's upside down or right side up. Um, I just tried to make it kind of cool. So like this, I didn't want that showing, so I put that on the inside, okay? So anyway, very, very simple. So I thought I would show you one that I hadn't stitched yet or rounded the corners. So this is the music sheet simply cut down and this is like, so I cut it down to where it was like seven and a half by um, this is almost, yeah, this is like 11 and three quarters. So I didn't cut this size. I just cut the edges off, okay? And then just simply fold it, okay? Fold it, leave yourself about a half an inch gap there and fold it over. Then I, this was already tea dyed, so I didn't have to do any distressing or anything. And then I took my uh, We Are Memory Keepers Corner Chomper on the half inch side and I just rounded the corners on all four ends, okay? Then I folded it up and you don't have to do this either. This was just the look I wanted. And then rounded it, folded like that, okay? And then I'm gonna take my image and I'm just gonna, let me make sure I'm framed. I'm just gonna run this with a straight stitch through my machine. And I'm just gonna go, just kinda um, willy nilly around it, you know, not, not trying to get a straight line. I'm trying to kinda get a wonky line. Just let the, turn the paper like I want it as it's going through the machine. very impromptu. This was not planned. I just thought, since I'm working on something that I thought would be, um, that I think are fun and I thought would be pretty easy to demonstrate or to show you what I'm doing, I thought I would do this. So now I've just stitched around that. So now this is the back side of my envelope. And this is the front side. 
So now I'm gonna come right here and I'm gonna glue this down. Well, okay, you can do this two ways. You can glue this down first or you can go ahead and stitch all the way around your envelope. It doesn't matter. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and stitch first. So you can just, you can just simply fold this up and just stitch around. You know, you don't have to go all the way around. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stitch, I'm gonna stitch all the way around this and I'm gonna stitch all the way around this and I'm gonna stitch all the way around this, okay? Just because that's what I like to do. And it's kinda hard to do it um, all at one time with this big sheet of paper. Tried it that way, it didn't work so well trying to twist my paper around in the machine and then I just kind of turn it. I'm not looking for perfection. I'm not looking for a well-rounded, you know, perfect curve. I want that kind of wonky, sort of crazy fun, you know, stitch. I'm not looking perfection at all in anything that I do. Um, very good off. So now I've got the stitch around that part. Now I'm going to come around this part. And this gets a little tricky. I should have started from the other side and you got this whole sheet of paper. This is another one of those things that you could just take whatever paper you have, the pages, whatever you want to make an envelope from, you can make an envelope. All you need is a square piece of, or a rectangular piece of paper, or even a square piece of paper. Okay, so now I went all the way around that one. Now, I'll do this this way. Go around this one. This is simply for more embellishment. It's totally not necessary. So you really don't have to do all this sewing. This is just what I like to do, or what I'm doing for this particular project, because I like the look of it. I like having all the frayed thread, or the, you know, all the little threads um, at different places, you know, on the envelope once you get it all put together. I like having those little, um, those little threads. So now you can just you know fold it up like this. Now I am going to put my image on here. And for this, I'm just using um, I'm using fabric tack. You can use whatever glue you have. I just really um, I just bought this new bottle of glue. I really like. I like using this on these kind of projects. It's, it dries quick. It doesn't give you a, it doesn't give you a lot of bubbles and stuff. Um, I'm not too concerned about that on this particular project. But I don't want it super bubbly, um, but it dries you know it dries flat. So then just kind of get your image like you want it. I guess that's a kitty cat teaching Peter Rabbit how to fish. <laughs> that was cute. And then I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna stitch here and stitch here. Now I'll probably just go all the way around because that's just easier than, than stopping and starting again. So I'm back around with a bunch of stitch. I'm not trying to get it perfect. off. Now, now you have this really cute little envelope and it's cute just like this. I like it just like this and it's it's really it's a nice it's a nice good pocket this size and it will fit. Um, I hope it's gonna fit in my journal. Something like that. So it will fit in here. Okay so I can just take it although I'm not quite finished with it yet. So here's the home for a bunny. It's, it's pretty much finished, but so I can just come in here 
and take this and stick it on a page like that and clip it in. And you've got another really cute, you know, really cute envelope to put things in. So that's what I'm doing these for, for those little bunny books. Hold on, I'm gonna have a, one of those uh, craft uh, crashes over here in a minute. That's gonna fall. Okay, so now I've already, just for the sake of this video, I already took another little, I just took two little strips of fabric, okay? Uh, I made some tassels for those books and I had a bunch of strips left over. So I just stitched two little pieces together and I'm just gonna glue them here. Okay. And I don't want to cover the rabbit up. You could just, you could do it up here. You could just do a little piece up here. Um, you could just do a smaller piece here, you know, like this. I'm gonna stick, I might, you know what? Hold on. Now I'll stick with it here, just for the sake of this video. So then I'm just gonna glue, I'm just gonna put some glue across here. gonna put this little piece of fabric here and now you can take you know you can take other buttons like say if you've got um, y'all know I love buttons now I love my buttons so you can take regular buttons you know and put some little buttons here put some you know twine or thread through them uh, wax linen thread you could do it like that um, I'm trying I'm trying not to get too much bulk this one's pretty flat let's see this one's kind of flat it's not pink let's see if I got a pink one in here this is the reason why I don't do a lot of videos because I'll sit and fiddle stuff like forever and then y'all have to sit and watch me uh, let's see I know I've got some pink ones in here. They're thick. Y'all like the sound of buttons? I love the sound of buttons. So that one will be cute. That's a little one. So I could use those little ones like that. Okay. Um, I don't have my hot glue gun out. I usually use hot glue gun with these, but I think since I've got the fabric... And this will be on here. I just run my little, um, I'm just using a wax linen thread here. And uh, I just put that in the buttons. It goes through these smaller buttons really well. If you've got bigger buttons, it's hard to, I mean, um, a thicker <clears throat> thread or like a baker's twine or something like that, it's harder to get through these. And I have really big fingers, so I struggle with the little stuff. But yeah, so we'll put buttons on this one. I'll just put some fabric glue down. And then just have to let these set. have to really, I might have to use the glue gun because sometimes, sometimes the fabric tack will work. You just got to leave it alone, like set it down there and leave it alone. But see, isn't that really cute? And then you could go, you could decorate this part too. I'm not going to for this person. I'm just trying to make a pretty simple envelope just to add to the journal and put some little goodies in there. And I just thought they were really cute. Um, so I thought I would share. And then, so I did the other one. Let me try something different on this one. But these are all ready to go. So this one I used, uh, this is just a plain pink and this is like a little gingham pink with that. And I used two of the really pretty felt flowers, which I really like um, that a friend of mine gifted me a ton of those and I love them. So, so I've got these two done and then let's see. 
and I'm going to try to decide what I want to put on these. So I've already stitched them. They're already together, ready to go. Um, I hope y'all, I hope y'all find this helpful. I mean, I hope, and I hope I've been in frame. I know, well, I hope I can see. I hope you, you know, I hope you get some ideas from this because there's so many different things. There's just so many different things you can do. Like I could totally, um, I don't have to go with the pink. I could go with a little scrap of red and maybe some yellow. I know I've got some yellow in here. These little scraps of yellow, you know, um, kind of doing wonky, running through my machine. It's just, and it's a great way to use up, great way to use up scraps. Oh, I really do love the red. I'm gonna use a little red gingham. And then we'll see. I have, I don't know if I have any green in here. I've got this blue. It's got this blue that I think would be cute with him too. So I could do the little red and blue and then come back and put, decide what buttons I want. So let me just show y'all the ton of buttons that she sent me. And I don't think this is, this is not all of them. I have a note, a whole nother envelope full. Look, look at all these felt buttons. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You know who you are. She she likes she wants to remain not anonymous. She said, but uh, super super sweet lady and friend and customer. And she sent me all these really fun. They're so fun. So that would be cute. A little flower. A little yellow button here. Might grab a pink one. There's a pink and blue one I could use for that one. Gotta get the fabric up there. <clears throat> but this is just kind of how I how I do things. I like that. And I like to kind of do contrast, you know, some contrasting colors. Um, like I've got that. Let's see. This might be cute on here. That light blue. I'm not sure about that. I like the light blue with that darker blue. And oh, I got some red. Red. And then maybe a red. That would be cute. Okay, so that's kind of how I do this. I'll pull out what I like that one too, but I need another. So I've got blue and pink. This is how my brain works, y'all. I'll sit here and go through, you know, I'll go through 20 flowers and buttons or whatever <laughs> before I decide what I want. And I think I want to use some pink on, some pink on that other one up there. I just have a big, big pile of scraps down beside me at my desk, so I like that pink, and that white, and that blue, and maybe some yellow. Another scrap, got another little scrap of yellow. Yeah, that might be cute. And then I'll just decide how I want them, and I'll stitch it, and I'll put it on there. And that's that. It's that simple. So, and I've made Let's see. I mean, what do? I've got four books, so I'm gonna put one in each book, so I'll have some extra ones for some other <clears throat> projects. So yeah, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I made eight. So I'll have four left over that I'll put in probably some baby books or something when I do that. But anyway, I hope you found this. Hope you found this helpful and, and um, maybe gave you some inspiration to make um, some envelopes of any kind of anything. 
you can use, uh, you can just use the tea dyed paper, you can use scrapbook paper, any kind of book pages um, that are larger, you know, like the eight and a half by 11 pages, and just simply fold them up and fold them over. It's not, and cut them down to whatever size you want. You could actually take, and you could cut this in half, like you could do it, you could do a half size, and then you could have two more kind of like pocket envelopes really super simple you know and just stitch them up and you don't even have to stitch them up you can glue them you know you can you can cut um you could like punch like a fancy edge with it you can put butterflies you can put you can stamp them i mean just y'all know you can do just so much stuff like i have these little butterflies and stuff i could come in here and maybe add I could come in here and add like a little butterfly to it or you know up here in the corner or on the back on the flap um just do all kinds of you know put a little butterfly over here um all kinds of fun stuff with these you know i could put a butterfly right here that would be cute on there um you know maybe i could punch butterflies you know i have have a butterfly punch that I could use and punch and put that on there too and add, you know, add extra elements to it. You could put little sands on here. Um, you know, you could stamp, if you got stamps, you could put Happy Easter. Just on and on and on and on. Just use your imagination. But anyway, so much for a short video. <laughs> Love you guys. I hope you found that helpful and fun. Let me know what you think. Um, welcome to all my new subbies, too. I don't think I've ever said that. I've, I've gained a lot of subbies in the past few months. And thank you, thank you. And thank you, Jessica Rapp. I think a lot of them are coming from Jessica's channel. So thank you for all the um, sweet comments and the shout-outs to me and then listing me in, the, um, in that new Facebook um, listing with all the subbies, uh, with all the channels that have less than 3,000 subbies. I really appreciate it. And um, I'm just very grateful for you all, and I hope you are all staying safe and stay well, and love you. See you soon. Bye.